Good morning. Today is Saturday, February 1st of 2020. Week number 61. Oh, I don't even go into the weeks anymore. 61. <laughs> Today is our big monthly update. Uh, we missed our January update. Um, it was my fault. I was in the hospital. <laughs> and his fault, but we were a little busy and preoccupied at that moment. Yeah, life got us that week. <laughs> it did. So... But we're back. We're back. <laughs> and we did all of our fun stuff, our measurements and our weights and our BMIs and all that fun stuff that and we'll share pictures. with you. Yeah. So we'll get right into that. Um, I've been a little frustrated lately. I've been stalled and I've got a lot of other things going on internally as well. Um, long story short, I'm seeing some specialists. I'm trying to figure it all out. Uh, the big news is uh, I was really infected. Organs were shutting down. I was not doing well. And I just got the blood work back that confirmed that there was no more infection in me, which is fantastic. Thank you, God. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I'm, I'm feeling like that big hurdle is stepped. Now I've got a couple other things to resolve. And I see a few different doctors this week, one for my heart uh, on the 6th, yeah. and then regular primary on the 10th for blood work. So I'll have some cholesterol numbers and some A1C numbers, things like that to share. So that'll be fun. Yeah. And uh, trying to get some other little junk inside me figured out. I'm having a lot of trouble with my stomach. So I'm going to go see a gastro guy. and uh, Or gal. Or gal. Yeah, I'm open. <laughs> and uh, move forward from that. But let's see. Last week I was 329.6. And this week I was 329.4. So pretty much the same. I'll take that instead yeah. of being 330 or above. Yeah, this is true. I'm still in the And that put me where? At 38.1 BMI, which is mm -hmm. still too high, obviously. But when I started, I was 44.2. So that's not bad. And I am down since last year, 2019, uh, December. So it's been just over a year. I'm down 53.2 pounds. I'd like that to be more, but, you know, working on it. Yeah. And is there anything else that I missed here? Um, inches. Oh, inches. It actually, from our 11 month update, up uh, 2.5 inches. Okay. Uh, excuse me, two, he's up 2 inches. Sorry. Okay. So, up 2 inches somehow within those measurements. Do you remember where the measurement that was up was? Uh, no. I don't it, uh, Just that, a cumulative of the right, added. Right, cumulative up. of the added. Uh, okay. Which, you know, your body changes, so things move and shift. and. I'd like to say it's muscle, but it's just <laughs> me, it's fat. <laughs> oh goodness! I drink more water. I love this water bottle. This is my little Contigo, uh, little flip top lid. I love it. We got a four pack, so all four of us have our own Contigo bottle. Imagine and our that. youngest daughter, we we do pretty well with water anyway. But our youngest daughter, Julia, we struggled to get her Huge. to drink water, and since she's gotten her cup. She feels very special to have her own cup. They're all different colors. Mine's orange, yours is like lilac or something. And yeah. Julia's, I think, is teal. And Lawrence I forget what Lauren's is. Lauren's is blue for go blue. But yeah, pick these up on Amazon. Love them. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, but after you've locked it, it's even got a little uh, clip. And this is the way Julia carries hers. Yeah. Like this. So. And she's drinking two, two to three of them a day, which is... Getting her to even drink a half a glass of water with a meal is almost that impossible. was that was hard and and I keep seeing her refill this in the kitchen. It just makes me smile. We have a water RO system in the kitchen, and we added minerals and yeah. something else. I forget what the other thing we added was, but uh, it's really good water. It tastes really good. It's Fantastic. Way better than bottled water, and uh, I'm so happy to see her walking back and forth in the hall with her little bottle full. But uh, I probably drink about four to six of these a day. I think this is about, what, 20 ounce maybe? Yeah, somewhere yeah. around there. So, and of course I drink other stuff too, but you know, a little bit of coffee here and there and stuff. Yeah, yeah the water is important. Bring, drinking tons of water. Good for you. Helps flush things too. Absolutely. My kidneys weren't working so good. My liver and kidneys <coughs> were kind of shutting down <coughs> through infection. Excuse and, me. And uh, most important thing is keep moving and keep drinking. And that's what I'm doing. Because mm -hmm. I do not want to end up back in the hospital. <laughs> no. So, Stace, where were you here with all this? Uh, last week, I weighed in at 136. This morning, I weighed in at 135.2. So, I'm down 8 ounces. So, I'm... So, well, it's not really 8 ounces. But, well, not really 8 yeah. ounces, but somewhere. 0.8. Yeah. So, it's, uh, you know... Yeah. That's good, though. 
up Better and down a few up. ounces, you know, within a, that range. So it is what it is. Now my BMI, um, I'm uh, well, seven point three. Total loss in the BMI, I oh seven point three loss. Yeah. Uh, twenty two point five for my BMI. Your day one BMI was thirty, and that was just over a year ago, yeah. December of two thousand nineteen. Yeah, sounds weird to say that. And now it's 22.5. So difference of 7.3, negative 7.3 on the BMI scale. Mm -hmm. Mine was negative 6.1 on the BMI scale. Yeah. Going from 44.2 on day one to 38.1. And you've lost a total of 45 pounds. And that's huge on your frame. I mean, your frame yeah. was not enormous to start with. What, what did you start weight-wise? 180.2? Yeah. And that was in December of last year. Mm -hmm. And uh, I started at 382.6. December of last year, I'm at 329, 4, and you're at 135. December of 2018. Oh, I said December of, of last year. Oh, geez, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would be a feat, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. <laughs> yeah, December 1st, 2018 is when we started. Okay. Yeah, because it was December. It was the yeah. end of the year. Yeah, I'm a dork. Most people start their their resolutions and stuff on the first of the year. Not us. So I get a little confused remembering that we started a few weeks before we started December 1st, yeah. didn't we? Yeah. So it does seem like so much longer because it was 2018. <laughs> but yeah, it was Sounds literally like say. 30 days. <laughs> <laughs> From a dork. Um, anything else on here that we were supposed to go over? Uh, measurements for you. You... you um, what, what was it? I this am, is your... Yeah, I am up a total of 1.5 inches from our 11-month update. Um, I've lost 33 total, so I started at 215. I'm 183.5, and that's not correct, is it? I was going to say, I have no idea what's going on here. It's early. Uh, but what, the, what the, the, but I am up 1.5 inches from our 11-month update where we did our Right, where you just compared to 11 months. Yeah. And we didn't have a 12 month, and this is Correct. the 13 month. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, what, what do you think is off on this? 215 minus 183.5. I have 33, but that's not correct, I don't believe. Looks pretty close to me. No, close enough. All right, we'll, we'll call it. 15 from there, and 15 from there is 30 plus the 2. Okay. So, yeah, 32, 33. Cool. Anyways, let's see. So, you are down. 0.8 of a pound. Mm -hmm. The way that scales work is not the same as yeah. ounces. <laughs> um, and you've lost 45 pounds. And your BMI is 22.5. I'm average. You're average. You'll never be average to me. Aww. <laughs> uh, so when you combine what Stacy's lost and what I've lost, uh, it only adds up to 98.2. I need to get my butt in gear because there's not much more you can lose. A little bit. You know, I watch some of the other channels. And I try not to compare. Gosh, that can just drive you crazy. It does drive but, uh, you crazy. I find a bunch of other weird stuff too. I've had days where I didn't even uh, didn't even eat food for two days. I was doing some fasting, and I ended up still with a super high sugar. I cannot seem to get into ketosis. It uh, doesn't matter what I eat. Doesn't matter what I don't eat. Doesn't matter what I drink. My body was fighting some huge infections for a couple, probably like a month there. Yeah. I wasn't even aware that, I just thought I was getting sick. I thought I had a cold or something. But um, yeah, I'm feeling a little bit better in those respects and just trying to move forward, seeing other doctors, figure out what's going on with my gut. My stomach is acting up really weird. And that's yeah. been since my colonoscopy in May. Yeah. And you know, what's funny is when you go back and you review how we were doing on keto, I was doing pretty good until I did my colonoscopy and then everything went crazy. So I'm seeing another gastro, going to ask some questions and try and get some answers and solutions because I've never been so messed up in my tummy. I mean, I can go up five pounds in three days and then if I finally can go to the bathroom, I go down six. You know, it's just, it's just really odd. I'm used to being a regular person in the bathroom and, you know, might be TMI, but having some trouble there. So I'm getting it checked out. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm also getting a heart scan done, see if there's any blockages. If there is, I don't think I'm going to blame it on keto. I'm going to blame it on the other 51 years that I ate and drank and had 400. Well, not drink. <laughs> I don't drink anyway. But you know what I mean. Drank Coke and ate Pop. bad stuff and 
And uh, yeah, I, I think I would attribute more of that to that if there is a problem. But I'll know more about that um, mid-February, I guess. Probably yeah. a couple of days I'll take to get the results. Yeah. Maybe fast. I don't know. Who knows? So we'll, we'll take it from there. Uh, my cholesterol's been better. My heart rate's been better. My A1C's been better all within this last year on keto. So I'm not assuming that anything, if there was a problem there, yeah. That it would be related to what I've been eating because I've been eating pretty darn good. Yeah. So, all right. Well, anything else to share on this big update besides our pictures, which will be at the end of the video here? Yes. I made a quick bread. Oh, that's right. Yeah. The other day. Yeah, you'll see the video oh, linked up here. It was really, really yummy. I miss toast. I was never really a big sandwich person, so the bread on a sandwich didn't bother me, but I miss toast. I used to do the 15 grain bread and make a grilled cheese sandwich with that or a toast. Um, and I made the quick bread and it's pretty good. Yeah, and I would say it's not really like a wonder bread replacement right. that I'd want to put like sandwich things on and make a sandwich out of. However, put some butter on it and just sit down with that next to a bowl of soup or just as its own on a piece of bread. Yeah. Very, very good, guys. Worth, I put peanut butter trying. in mine. I took uh, almond butter. You put yeah. It in. You almond keep butter. saying peanut butter. You said that in the video too. I know. Is a uh, almond, almond butter. butter from Costco, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, I took a couple slices to work to a couple of ladies that are doing keto there as well, and I need the recipe. <laughs> they they all do that when they make yeah. something. They bring in a little snack bit for Stacy and I to try. Yeah. And she does the same. She'll make something and take it in for them too. So it's kind of cute. Sometimes you get... That's how you found the blueberry bread, wasn't that's it? That's how I found the blueberry bread, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that blueberry bread, oh my gosh, guys. If you haven't tried that or seen it, it is worth trying. Now, to me, that's not what I call, quote unquote, a food. I call that a really nice treat and I'll have a piece or two of it yeah. and I'll freeze some of it and then maybe a week later I'll pull a piece out because I don't want to eat just that. Right. It's a nice treat, though. But it's a wonderful treat if you are... Wanting something, yeah. and and Stacy's more in that treat mode than I am. I'm more just give me a piece of chicken and some broccoli, you know, pretty basic. Yeah. But Stacy really likes her little treats, so uh, you know, those things work. I do. Whatever works. It's better than the cupcakes, right? Oh, it's way better than all the <laughs> stuff she used to eat. So that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, we did the video, and quite a few people have already made that quick bread and love it. So. It's, Somebody, uh, yeah, the quick bread they made, and as well as the um, the blueberry bread. Yeah. Now, the next she time I make the blueberry bread, there's a lemon topping. Like an icing. Almost. Yeah, like an icing that's supposed to go on. I didn't do that, um, but one of the but followers uh, made it. Uh, I think it was Yvonne or Yvette. I forget. Yeah. Um, and uh, that's just like a sweetener with a little water and a little lemon, right? Yeah. I just so. kind of drizzle it on let it, to me, refrigerate it. Because right. I like things cold like that. But he likes everything cold. Yeah, if, if that icing got cold on there, it would be, to me, that would be the right way to eat that. Yeah, so I'll try that. And then I got a few more recipes. Um, I made pork chops the other day. I they made were four well. pork chops the other day. And Bill's not a big pork chop person. And, I uh, ate him. He left me a half a pork chop. I ate her pork chops. It was the funniest thing because I came up. <laughs> Came home and I said, Where's the pork chops? Because I left you some. And I was like, and I did. There's I I said, there's a half a pork chop. He goes, But I left you some. And so he does this, he turns his head like Like this. <laughs> like a dog that's in trouble. I was like, oh. I left you some. A half a pork chop, guys. That was a lot of restraint to leave what I left. <laughs> it was really good. Um pork chop's a little lean for me. I prefer like a chicken thigh, but uh, Darn, it was good. I weighed it out. It was only five ounces, so. It was the funniest thing. And it was like two days by the time I remembered I had pork chops. I'm like, oh, I'm going to have pork chops. For well, lunch. two days is like free dibs in this house. <laughs> two, you know, good thing the kids didn't know it was there. Yeah. And loved pork chops because you never got one. You and got normally anything. I don't eat a lot of leftovers. I prefer fresh when it's cooked. But the pork chop, as I was, I cooked it late at night. Because uh, I had worked and then I came home and I wanted to cook it. So I had lunch for the next day. And uh, so I took a few bites and then I forgot my lunch. I took a few bites because it was really good. Right. It but, smelled so good in the house. I'm like, give me just a bite, you know, just a little bit. <laughs> so I forgot it the next day. So I was like, oh, bummy. And then, so yeah, when I did go to get it, there was a 
half there was, pork chops. I left you pork chop. <laughs> Thanks for leaving me pork chops. So we did go to our Costco uh, holiday party. Obviously being retail, we're so busy uh, leading up to Christmas and after the new year. Uh, so we just had our party last Saturday. Yes, and, we do that uh, so everybody can just kind of be there and catch Wind up. down and have fun. And yeah. uh, so we got dressed up and... Yeah, it was nice. Both look nice. I think we should try and find the picture from last year, which I'm sure you could find like on Facebook. I have, yeah. And uh, that dress was huge on her, so that didn't work. So we ended up going, where was it? TJ TJ Maxx, Maxx, maybe? Yeah. We were just in there looking for Julia and goofing around, and I said, hey, let's look at the dresses. And she found this really cool little pantsuit thing. Yeah. It's a jumpsuit pantsuit. It's a jumpsuit. Yeah, so I went, uh, I tried on a dress, which fit wonderfully right off the, I mean, everything fit nicely, but I'm always cold. So I was like, oh, then I have to have a sweater. And then there I were a lot of accessories heels. you would need to <laughs> right. still get with Because that dress. I don't have anything that fits me other than socks. Um, <clears throat> and then I found a jumpsuit, Got which I would have right never on. gotten a jumpsuit. I'm glad you tried it. But I tried it on and I was like, oh. I had to wear a pretty good heel though because I'm, I'm it's sure longer length, it was longer, yeah. but it was a size medium, fit wonderfully right off the rack. Um, and you're about a six to eight right now, about on eight, like jeans yeah, or something. An eight. Okay. Uh, so it fit really nicely. Um, kind of need the medium for the chest area too, because if you had the small, you'd be like pushed and all, you know. It, I, and I have to say, it was a little. Um, different than obviously what I normally wear uh, especially at the top it uh, but it, I felt fantastic in it um, yeah. I think I looked really nice I got a lot of compliments she kept saying that it felt like she was wearing pajamas oh it was so comfortable the bad part of it though because I've never worn a jumpsuit dang I have to go to the bathroom quite a bit and I was like completely undressing to go to the bathroom it it was chilly <laughs> I was like, well, I didn't think that part out very well. Yeah. <laughs> but it was it was a super comfortable outfit. Like I said, it felt like I was wearing my pajamas. Um, but it looked nice. So so you, you, you made the quick bread and you made the blueberry bread, which were really, really good. Um, what was the next thing on your radar for wanting to... I'm not trying to pin you down to a recipe this week, but I'm just saying what was the next thing you were wanting to try recipe-wise? There was a, a tortilla chip that I wanted to try, so hmm. we can do that with some salsa. I found a pretzel bite that you That's can do with some uh, queso cheese. You know what would be neat about a pretzel is to do a pretzel bite and then to put some like melted lilies on it and some hard salt, like some of the yeah. pink salt or something. And then it would be similar to like a, a chocolate covered pretzel bite, which I used to like a lot. Yeah. Yeah, that would be neat. Maybe I'll make that for you. A couple pretzel like rods and yeah. just try it. Yeah. Lily's is so expensive that uh, I don't want to, you know, blow out a whole bar just to... Oh, we get the Lily's chips. Oh, that's right. We got chips. We can melt some chips and put and it on. And then I there. found a uh, calzone recipe. I like calzones. See, I, yeah, see, I'm not so much into all those bready things, but I like the blueberry bread. Yeah. And then the, the buttered bread was good. That was just more like a... Hardy bread, like a roll bread, like something you get at medieval times with your gravy right. and your soup or something, but it was darn good. See, I don't miss bread, honestly. I'm not a big missing bread person. The The only time I really feel like I miss bread is on hamburger. Like, I want a hamburger bun. I don't want to eat it on lettuce. Um, yeah. I'd like a bun for my hamburger. And I've tried the folio wraps, which I thought were gross um, from Costco. They're cheese based, right? Yeah. Parmesan, I believe, and a uh, carb shell from Mission. You could chop something up and put it in there and make it almost like a taco or burrito. That's not bad, but it's not my first choice. Right. So I think the only thing I like with the carb shell is like a quesadilla. oil pan, a little bit of cheese in it, a little bit of bacon bits or something. Call that a quesadilla. Yeah. That's my new quesadilla. <laughs> oh, and whatever you put in there, was it jalapeno juice? Because I can't take the jalapenos, but I'll take the juice of the jalapeno in there. That's really good. <laughs> Gives a little zing. <laughs> I put I put diced jalapenos in mine, um, in and it, it clears your it clears your sinuses. Sure, it does if your nose is <laughs> I just put a few little drops of the juice into his, and he's like, "Oh, that's a little hot." No, it's good. I like it. But I don't think I can handle the actual... Halloween. It would ruin it. <laughs> well, I'd be picking it apart just to get them out. Right. Yeah. That's nah. funny. 
So anyway, um, that's our big monthly update. And at the end of this video, obviously, you'll see the pictures of what are we going to do? Day one and day now or yeah. what? Okay. Um, and like I said, I'm a little frustrated. I haven't really been moving on the scale. And I appreciate you guys sticking in with us. But like we said in the beginning of all of this, back in December of 2018, uh, that regardless, good, bad, up, down, however life's treating us, we're going to still jump on here. And pretty much we have. Uh, I have one hospital stay, and we had a couple of Saturdays where we were traveling and we were either day late or just a little odd. But uh, we've pretty much stuck to trying to get that out there every Saturday. And uh, at least I'm proud of that. You know, we committed to that, and I wanted to stick with that. And, yeah. and I'm, I'm, I guess I don't want to be, like, apologetic. I'm a little frustrated more than apologetic that uh, I just want to see the numbers moving again. Tried lots of things and even take a lot of other suggestions. I um, think I got to get this gut figured out. Got to get whatever's going on with my heart figured out. Um, I was having heart rates of 140 on a regular basis, racing heart. And, and I think part of that was infection too. Yeah. Because the doctors were like really puzzled by my heart. So they, when I left the hospital, they were like, you need to go do some follow up with that. So I am. I'm doing everything they told me. Mm -hmm. I'll see a urologist, I'll see a gastroenterologist, I'll see the cardiologist, uh, lots of tests. So, you know, I'm a work in progress. I think we all are, aren't we? <laughs> you know, um, we were contacted by lowcarb.com. Oh, you did granola from them. I did a granola review for them, and I loved the granola, and I uh, did the review, very happy with it. I was sad when I ate the rest of the bag Yeah, she told by me myself. that she needed more on Amazon. Imagine that. Yes. So they reached out to us and have asked if we would like to be a low-carb partner. Well, they didn't ask me. They asked Stacy because she, she's the face behind the <laughs> granola. I'm not, I don't know. I tried it. I liked it a lot. Yeah. It tasted good. It, Definitely changed the texture of the yogurt. Yeah. We just used a, a Carb Master from Kroger, just a basic yogurt. I forget, yeah. raspberry or something. Yeah. Something and then we like added that. that just as a textural thing for you. Correct. Huge difference for her. She was taking a yogurt probably every day or every other it was, day. It, yeah, and that was a meal for me. Um, Not a meal for me, but... <laughs> But it was, it was very satisfying. I really missed the crunch. I'm very much a texture person. And uh, so I'm, I'm extremely excited. Yeah, uh, so we have the contract headed out. Um, so so you have to work with that and then uh, come down and do quick little review videos of whatever else yeah. that you start to um, review for them. Yeah. Because they have a lot of different products on there, low carb. They do, and they've expanded quite a bit. So I'm pretty excited. Like I said, I love the granola. There's not a lot of food things that I get really excited about. That's um, true. Bread. You like bread. I like bread. Cheese. She likes I cheese. I love cheese. I'm trying to think what else. Sweets. Anything sweet you like. And I don't know so much that you do anymore. I mean, she used to guzzle cherry Pepsi, and, or was it cherry Coke? Cherry Pepsi. Cherry, cherry Pepsi. Pepsi. And uh, anything that you would see at the convenience or the, or the gas station checkout, like Hostess Cupcakes, or Twinkies, or Ding Dongs, or whatever, Stacy had it. There was one day I cleaned Stacy's car out and underneath her sink, uh, underneath her seat was just full of Hostess cupcakes and the little milk jugs with the little <laughs> lid. That's gross to me. You don't leave that kind of thing in your car. But uh, the little milk jugs, with, thank God the lids were on them. Um, you know, shoved up under her car seat and stuff. I'm like, don't drive my car. Don't do that crap in my car. Mm-mm. Sorry. If my kids did that, we'd have a big problem. We'd have a meeting in the driveway. Get that out of my car. Yeah. I don't like when people put stuff in my car like that. But anyway, I cleaned Stacy's car out one day. I was being nice. I washed the car and cleaned it out. And I'm like, oh, look at all this crap. Literally. That was before keto. Yeah, it but, was. And, and, and have you, it's okay if you have, but have you cheated or have you gone and done that yeah. since? Yeah. I would think not. Yeah. Yeah. There's no reason to. I did There's too few, many alternatives you could I have. I had a few chips the other day at work. Chips? Like uh, like a tortilla chip. Why? Because I just wanted the crunch. It was hard. It was sitting there all day. Well, you better but make that. But I only that, had like three of them, so you be, it wasn't. You better make that video you were talking about, because you said tortilla chip video, right? Yeah. Is that's, it just a fat head that's rolled real thin? And no, it's cut? actually a little bit different than a fat head. So, um, but you know, I'll try it first like I always do. I try to make it first we before always, I do a video, because if it doesn't taste good, I don't want to put it 
a video out. Yeah, I agree with that. So um, we try a lot of things. The soups and the chilies we tried a few times before we did the video for yeah. them, and we still made the chili mild for me. This was all because I don't eat chili. Yeah, it but, was uh, all him. There's chili up there now. I might have some chili today. Yeah, I'm not really feeling like eating today. I don't know. We'll see. This my tummy's not feeling the greatest, and you know when you don't feel wonderful, you just don't feel like eating. No. So, but watch for some new stuff for us, and then yeah. once you get going with that low carb thing, I think she said something like every month they were going to send you something yeah, to I'll review. Yeah, send a new product every so month. That will be cool for you. Yeah. I'm so excited. Now, how come Lily's can't send us free chocolate every <laughs> month to try? Huh? Um, I try yeah. that. As long as it was the milk chocolate with salt. The salted the salt almond is what almonds. he likes. That's what I like. He doesn't like the milk chocolate. He likes the salted almond. And I try to ration it to a third of a bar or half a bar at the most. Yeah. There have been once or twice I lost it. But I still card manager it. I put it all in and I look at the day and I was like, ah, I have done <laughs> that. Mm, well, it's not that often though. Because they're expensive. They're like four bucks a bar, man. Where were you getting them? It's a little cheaper. Kroger, they Kroger. just, uh, they had some digital coupons. Um, oh, it was a coupon thing. Yeah. Okay, I thought but they were coming down. They came down to two ninety nine, and then they had some coupons, so I got it for two twenty four. I kind of wish they were a little more consistent, though. Uh, honestly, with the salt and almond from Lily's, yeah. there are batches that we get are so salty, you're like, and then there are other batches, like, I don't even taste any salt. So it's like there's a consistency, or a... a yeah. You know, just trying to stay consistent with what they make and how they make it. But anyway, it is time for Stacy to head off to work. And I'm going to get going with the day and try to keep moving. Yeah. And get get some exercise in. Get some steps in. You know, that's important. There we go. It doesn't count if you're not wearing your watch. You better put your watch on. I can go, go put my watch on right now. Stacy kicks my butt. Like, she laps me like eight times a day. She could probably get sixteen to 20,000 steps. And I'm lucky to get five. Nineteen to twenty-five thousand. On a, a good day. day, I'm between four and six thousand. I know I need to up that, but I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm going to be getting back on the bike, and we've got the treadmill over there that Stacy uses, so I'll be walking on that for ten, fifteen, even. You know, every bit helps. She's tapping my leg, so she must want to go. I'm cold, and I have to go to the bathroom. All right. So, goodbye for the 20th time. Bye. And uh, pictures at the end of the video. See you later. Bye. Gator. Good morning. Today is Saturday, February 2nd, 2020. Is it really? It is. Wow. Okay. He doesn't believe me. No, I didn't realize it was February already. <laughs> it is. It's February. Wait, stop. Oh, Start over. It's, it's February 1st. Oh, why am I thinking it's I was like, I didn't even know it was February. Now it's February 2nd. No, it's February 1st.